In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add some social sharing buttons to your WordPress website. We're gonna be using a really easy to use free plugin to do this, pretty flexible plugin uh, with a few options. So you can choose which buttons you'd like to show on the posts, where they show, so they could be at the top or the bottom, or even have them floating down the side. It should only take us a few minutes to set up the plugin. And the theory behind it is, is that if you add social sharing buttons to your website, then people will share your stuff, which of course is a good thing. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so I'm over at bowwowtech.co.uk, which is one of my Amazon affiliate websites. If you'd like to have a site like this for yourself, then you'll find a link in the description to the full app tutorial where I take you through building one of these from scratch. But anyway, we're gonna be adding social media icons today and it doesn't really matter what theme you're running, it should work with any theme. Now the theme I'm running here, which is Kingdom Theme, does actually have some social media icons. They're here, they're tucked away at the bottom. So I don't think it's gonna to hurt to add a few more maybe at the top here and definitely down the side, you know, floating so they follow us as we scroll down. So I'm already logged into the site, so I'm gonna go into the dashboard now and I'm gonna install a plugin. Then I'm gonna to go to plugins and add new. Then in this keyword box at the top right, I'm gonna type in add to any, which is the name of the plugin. It's the first one that comes up, this one with a big blue cross, well, white cross I should say on a blue background. Let's click install now. Okay, that's installed, let's click activate. There we go, that's all installed and up and running. So if we come down into settings now, we've got this new section called add to any. So here we go, we've got a few options around our social sharing buttons. You can select the size, I think 32 pixels is probably okay. But you could obviously increase that if you like. You can play around with the background if you want a transparent background, really up to you. Here we can add the services and we can even reorder them as well. Does anyone still use Google Plus? I'm not sure. <laughs> I wanna add some extra ones, they're all here, so maybe Pinterest as well, that's always a good one. There's loads to choose from, isn't there? Here's an option on the universal button. You can change that if you like, I mean, I think that's fine. So that kind of allows people to share to other platforms that maybe you haven't selected up here. You can add a header if you want, so you can add some words like share it or please share or I don't know, whatever you like. And then here is the placement, so we can display at the top or the bottom or the top and bottom. I'm gonna go for top because I said this team has already got some social share buttons at the bottom. Got some other options here, so you can display at the top post on the front page, so that's the home page. Don't think I'll bother with that. Archive pages, nope. Uh, on inner feed, nope. Display at the top of excerpts, no thank you. Display at the top of pages, no. Display at the top of media pages, no. Display at the top of products, hmm. Yeah, why not? A few other things here, menu options. You can uh, just set it so that it only shows the universal share menu when the user clicks the universal share button. That's fine, I think at the moment it's preset to hover. And you can add some additional JavaScript, which I don't think we'll be doing, and additional CSS too. And there's some other advanced options that we probably shouldn't mess with. So let's leave that as it is and click Save Changes. And let's just pop open another little tab and see what it looks like. So for some reason it's added them there. I'm sure I said not to do it to pages, but I, ah. I know that's why that is, because that's to do with these floating settings, which we haven't got to yet. I'm gonna do them in a second. Anyway, ignore these ones, we'll be looking at them in a minute. <laughs> what we do wanna look at is the ones on a product. So it's inserted them there, which I think is fine. Yeah, that kind of hover thing is a little bit annoying actually, isn't it? So maybe I will change that option. Let's go back to standard a second. Yeah, that hovers a bit annoying. Let's check out a blog post as well. The product is fine, I, I like it. Although, yeah, probably overkill. Is that overkill? That's a lot of social sharing, isn't it? Uh, I didn't realize that Kingdom also <laughs> has got them on the product. 
but maybe your WooCommerce theme doesn't, so you're gonna to wanna to add them there. Let's have a look on the blog. So you're going back into these options just while that page is loading. Um, yeah, let's turn off products because yeah, we've already got the Kingdom ones. And where's that option to do with this? Yeah, this, tick that. I don't like that hover. And there we go. So let's have a look at this blog post. There we go. Yeah, that's fine, isn't it? So these floating ones, let's have a look at those. So to adjust settings on them, you click on this floating tab, obviously. So we've got some options here. We can adjust the placement, currently set to left docked, which is fine. Attached to content, that means it's kind of gonna be down here a bit. It's not gonna start up here, it'll be down here. That makes sense. Uh, you can hide it on mobile screens, which is probably a good idea. You can hide it until the page is scrolled. 100 pixels or more from the top. That's quite nice, I guess. Adjust the position, which I think I need to do because that is way too high. It needs to be down a bit further. So let's increase this number. I'm gonna try 600. And adjust the icon size again. We can have horizontal buttons if we like. Mm, I don't like. And that's pretty much all the options really on the on the floating ones. Let's refresh and just see what they look like. I think they're too far down now, aren't they? They're too far down. So let's let's turn this down to I don't know five hundred. Now, there doesn't appear to be a way to turn it off on the on the home page, which I guess is fine. I was only surprised to see them because <laughs> I turned them off um, in the standard. Now, whether you want to use standard and floating, I don't know, it's really gonna be up to you. I think personally, the floating is probably enough. Yeah, that's about right for me, I like that position. So yeah, I think the floating is enough, so let me go back in and just turn off the standard. So to do that, I just basically untick everything, pretty easy. So let's see if they actually work. Let's say I wanted to uh, to tweet this out now, I just click on the Twitter, and here we go. And you just click tweet. My tweet has been posted, let's view it on Twitter. There we go. So, we're all done. So that brings the end of this video. Hopefully you've got your social sharing buttons up and running and they're looking good. If you've got any questions or comments about this, do leave them below. I'll do my best to read and reply to as many comments as I possibly can. There should be some things that have appeared on this video. You can click on them and check out stuff. So if you click on the eagle, you'll be able to subscribe and check out the rest of the channel. If you click on my face, you better go check out my vlog channel. I've got videos all around life and business and stuff like that. And you'll also find a couple more videos that you can watch right now. They've been chosen especially for you. So I hope you enjoy them. Until next time, bye for now.